hi guys <laughs> okay um today we're just gonna get right into the news welcome to my channel all right let me start off by talking about yemi alade and this lady charlotte the panda okay to my cameroonian subscribers here yeah, is for you guys okay i'm talking about charlotte the panda okay featuring yemi alade an amazing song i personally love this song the collaboration is dope you guys could check out this song it's titled sister The next one I'm going to talk about Whisk Kid. Whisk Kid helped this boy. He's a mechanic. This guy isn't in school. So thanks to Whisk Kid, this little boy might not have you know seen such opportunity and with whiskey he finally got the opportunity to go back to school um so congratulations to this guy his name is bassett and whiskey made it known on twitter on his twitter page he said we are sending bassett to school bring him to me finally found my gucci boy oh shit bad boy finally found my gucci boy <laughs> you're covered you know life insurance um that is an automatic scholarship all right um shout out to whiskey don't forget also ahmed the guy uh whiskey signed on stage and he said he was going to give ahmed 10 million naira. i made it known on here on my channel in one of my previous videos that whiskey said this is sending the guy to school that means you could wait but ahmed needs to go back to school now after ahmed we have this boy he did not sign this boy um but he says that he's covered okay um yeah the school and everything is going to take care of the bills all right shout out once again to whiskey now speaking about going to school we have peruzzi dmw artist doing an interview with pulse.ng peruzzi says that look i had to drop out of school because of my music career and he said he took um, a couple of meetings to convince his dad uh, that this is what he actually wants to do he was in the university when he made that move um, yes peruzzi's explanation let's watch it was already part of god's plan from the start to that i was going to do music you know what i'm saying but then everything wasn't just supposed to happen at the same time so i was in school and then it got to the point where it was so very clear that i needed to leave and that was when i made the move I'm like nobody talked me into it i did i did everything myself so five years down the line would you say you made the right move of course <laughs> Do you think that's the right move? A lot of people have blasted Peruzzi. He says he should have at least try to finish his education since he's already in the university. Some people saw it as a dumb move. What do you think? Okay, guys, that's just all I want to know. Talking about Whiskey, I think a collaboration is coming soon. Whiskey and Tiwa Savage just spotted in a room. They might be working on something. Uh, we don't know yet, but um we just keep our fingers crossed so whiskey and tiwa savage might be doing something new still on whiskey about the forthcoming election in 2019 okay i almost forgot that <laughs> in 2019 february now whiskey says that go get your pvcs yeah i support whiskey on this one everyone go get your pvc you don't have to complain i saw some people saying whiskey do you have your pvc where is your pvc at least a screenshot uh but i already did my i already have the temporary and i'm waiting for the pvc the permanent voters card and i hope i yeah i get it before the election of course i'm gonna get it before the election anyways um guys go get your pvc but don't stop on social media go out there face the real life and do it okay just do it and that's what i've noticed about nigeria our dependence on social media social media is good and social media could take you anywhere but sometimes physically there are things that you need to do physically before you could make an impact 
so social media vote poll would not do that when it comes to nigeria election i'm just saying we're still on whiskey guys there's someone okay right here who looks more like whiskey and <laughs> Here's what it feels like to be whiskied in two minutes. Let us watch this interesting video. <laughs> Hi everybody, my name is Larry, uh, aka Lanzi. Everybody thinks I'm whiskey, but I'm not good. See, whenever I put on my glasses, man, bad girl, what it looks like to be a whiskey in two minutes. Okay guys, what do you think about that? I think the guy looks like whiskey. Um, of course, if I see this guy on the street, I would think it's whiskey. Now, we have reports here. This lady, the lady with the big backside, okay, Timaya's girlfriend. We haven't seen her face, but you know, bloggers. <laughs> <laughs> bloggers finally you know found our instagram page um this lady timaya be flaunting her on social media without a face the report that we're getting says that the mystery lady is an interior decorator her name is tama and she is the same lady who handled the interior design of timaya's new lekki mansion our instagram page shows they have been together or known each other since 2016 she however never shares facial photos only photos of her work and luxury lifestyle so that is the lady that you might have been flaunting with the big backside the girlfriend she doesn't show her face not even on her instagram page <laughs> the faceless lady the lagbaja okay guys um let us talk about young six young six flaunts thirty-five thousand dollars which is approximately 12 million six hundred naira this is what i could see like thirty five thousand dollars okay um yeah of course you know it's it's a good thing um but there's another thing that i want you guys to know even with the money and the gold and everything that young sis flaunt on social media the girlfriend dumps him <laughs> young sis girlfriend betrayed him okay and young sis had to move on with his life i don't think he's moved on yeah <laughs> the lady betrayed young six my girlfriend betrayed me i want to be single for now may god god me help me find love because i'm no longer looking for love i've given up on women love and relationships for now so that is young sis even with all the money with all the gold chain and everything he lost his girl to another man <laughs> well i'm just saying there's a lot you know attached to that when it comes to relationships so i don't want to go deep on that let us move on to the next news um the next few minutes is going to be on the video now we have davido's baby mama sophia momodu was blasted by a fan and she replied you did show yourself no go use your time walk depend on davido for money okay that was what this fan said or should i say ata now sophia momodu replied you know this has been going on for a while now everyone saying davido has been feeding social sophia momodu and not only that the money that she spent the holiday the hotels and everything has been on davido that these are some of the benefits that comes with being a baby mama for someone like davido now she has replied she said uh, lol you need to take a vacation babe you seem stressed and this is all sophia money you better act like you know what time it is guys let me know what you think about this in the comment section below do you think that sophia momodu is actually spending her own money i don't really know i haven't you know seen her you know getting any endorsement deals but she might have something that she's doing in background of course she's already a celebrity to the video she's also making her money from that and appearance and all but i honestly i don't know how she's making her money i'm gonna be honest with you but it might be a money who knows but then again i still think the video is still part of all this okay i'm just saying here we have a lady okay a random lady on social media who says <laughs> guys you're not gonna believe what i'm about to say she says Mufe. <laughs> i'll just leave the yoruba part i mean i want to f you this guy this is what a lady says to the video i want to f you this guy <laughs> 
that is oh girls everyone wants to be baby mama this guy has a girlfriend he flaunts his girlfriend on social media he doesn't hide the girlfriend and ladies still want to have sex with him when he when he's clearly flaunting his girlfriend online showing her off talking about her in every post <laughs> ladies well not only that this lady gets caught by davido she's trying to hang her arm around davido and davido was like please <laughs> this is this is the biggest call of the century guys let us watch this In case you're wondering why Fino have been, you know, I've left the rap for a while and I've been singing, the reason is because of the money. Okay, I'm just going straight to the point right here. It's because of the money. Fino was interviewed recently by IPTV and Fino opened up. He says it's because of the money. You guys wouldn't patronize, you know, rap music, and money coming from rap music is quite low compared to commercial music. So Fino let it all out during this interview with Ip TV. Guys, let us watch this. The fans are not wrong at all, but the same fans changed as well. They go to the club where they don't play a rap song and they dance. They make the pop artist the bigger artist. You rap but you remain the smaller artist. You need to you need to be where the other artists are. So at the end of the day, if you think you have what it takes to actually do but then you're actually more versatile and that's what the industry is about drake raps he sings now for those of you that are zoe's fans zoe is also an indigenous rapper he raps in Igbo. most people have been saying that this guy copies fino and here zoe says that he has his own style of rap and we should stop comparing him to fino that they are different and he doesn't even copy fino in any way I try as much as possible to stay true to myself. This is me sounding like me, not trying to sound like anybody. So from onset, before even Fino had like the, the uh, shut down and ghost moves and stuff, I was featured in Owusagi. I rapped in Owusagi. I rapped, I did a Nibo uh, verse in Owusagi that I rapped in, you know. And I, there was no, Fino was there, but he was rapping in English as at that time. So I cannot be sounding like what I don't know. I've been doing this. Just take it back to the song. He has his own style. That is what Zo is trying to make us understand. And that is true. I think it's because we first know Fino before Zo. Most people have been on the street for a while. Some people that just started up their career in two years and the third year they got attention or they got help from a top celebrity and decide getting attention to their music why someone on the street have been doing that same style for a while and was still on the street and maybe later on he got noticed and you know because we first know a, um, a particular artist we think that oh this guy is trying to be like this other artist which is most of the time not the case um let me know what you think as usual in the comment section below talking about politics right here we have you edochi Peter Duce's son wants to run for president. He says here, yeah, the last bus stop. He says, today I declare my interest to run for president of the greatest country in the world, Nigeria. A blessed country that has been crippled by decades of bad leadership. Enough is enough. Would you guys vote for Yul Edoche? Don't forget we also have Shore or Fela Dutui. Okay guys, moving on to the next one is the big news of the day. Now most people have been Oh god, I wouldn't call it this stuff. Most people have been sending me DMs, okay, and also tagging me on posts that concerns these two Tunde Head Nuts and Tonto DK. I'm finally talking about it. I'm sorry it's coming late. Ah, uh, yeah, that is the logic, anyways. Alright, guys, here is Tonto and Tunde Head Nuts. Now, it's still on, it's on BB Ninja though. Nina posted a, a video on social media and that video wasn't that you know cool um it was kind of blurry and Tunde head not says nina stop using android in other words use a good phone tonto dk replied Tunde, you have been a celebrity longer than i can remember 
so you can afford a phone <laughs> send her one she needs it we are waiting since you are the first to notice and that didn't go well with Tunde head not Tunde replied with videos of Tunde DK acting up on stage like she's drunk or she's on some kind of drugs guys let us watch this mm, I wouldn't call it interesting then again it's just for you guys to understand or get the complete story of what I'm trying to say let's watch <laughs> So I you know. want to know it's from them? Can you give me that? I didn't really shave, so I can't really raise my hand. I'm gonna do that. That's Tonto DK right there. This is the first time I'm gonna say something like that. Honestly, uh, I never knew that Tonto DK have ever acted that way on stage. That is bizarre. Now Tonto DK replied, uh, "Tunde, I was a musician for a second, and I found a stage." Son, you have been a musician all your life and never seen a stage. Nothing changes the fact that my news alone is bigger than your career. Now, even though most people are blasting to the head not, truth is, come on, to the head not, I had a, a big hit back then. I'm catching cold and a couple of other songs as well back then. Tonto DK should do our research very, very well. Immediately I saw the post, I was like, ah, are you kidding me, Tonto DK? I've seen on stage like a couple of times, but Tunde had not shared this. This is just one of the videos because Tunde had not as performed on, on stage. Yeah. <laughs> And Bobriski is bringing its own into the drama. Okay, I didn't talk about Bobriski and everything, but Bobriski is, is famsy Nina, anyways. Um, whatever. Um, she's she. He said, <laughs> "Oh God, I was saying she." <laughs> he says, "Tunde Kronot, or what are they calling you? Why are you looking like I'm robber who is about to pick a pocket in this peak?" Well, he, he blasted Tunde Head Not, and he said, "Tunde Head Not is trying to be a blogger." Right now, Tunde Head Not is the big thing. People follow him to get news and stuff. Of course, it's beef right here. Tonto DK says she's ready to get Nina an iPhone X or any phone of her choice. He concluded by saying, "Let Bobriski, let me know how you want it delivered. And this is because Bobriski said he's going to be giving Nina some money and also her maybe brazilian hair i don't know <laughs> but bubiski says he's ready to give that to nina and some money now talking about bubiski bubiski was seen in the toilet pin in a male toilet and someone a fan took a video and shared it on social media here is the funny video guys that is the video guys now we have mayoku mayoku says that i haven't seen my dad for the past two years surprise me at my dallas show the last time he saw me was as mayowa so mayoku finally met with dad link up with dad after two Yes, yeah, I'm happy for you, Mayor. Hmm. There's someone here, a cross dresser, who says, Okay, reacted to the to the picture that Mayor Kun shared. Your dad that is liking big ass on Instagram. Your father is bad. I hope you don't 
mind having step brothers or sisters and mayoko replied have time to check your page and i know your father isn't proud this guy is a, is a cross dresser just like bubriski and i guess that's why mayoko says he knows his father is not um proud uh, guys let me know what you think about this in the comment section below now moving on to the next one it's on cc now cc's fans gave her two million naira not only that she has one million five hundred k ten designers clothes iphone x and more is still coming so congratulations to cc on that here we have comedian basket mouth saying that there is a cc in every woman okay here is basket mouth supporting cc let's watch this video how dare you people who saw that there how now because the same thing we she do every woman they do unfortunately camera not day everybody else yes there's a cc in every woman yes. so that is basket mouth do you agree with basket mouth basket mouth says that ladies should stop blaming cc because most of them has this character and the only difference is because cc has a camera on her okay and that is why we are all castigating cc that every woman if they have a camera on them yeah we might likely see this trait here we have toby prostrate to greet cc's dad you have everybody here that is not a big deal i would say because that's how you were trained as long as you're from a yoruba room that's how you greet your elders right here we have bam bam launched a beauty oil and it sold 5000 beauty oil for 5000 naira each and she sold all in 24 hours which amounts to 25 million naira don't forget guys that is not the gain okay everyone that is saying that she made 25 million naira that is not the gain but what can we say she made 25 million naira so take advantage of your newfound fame okay just everyone from bb niger take advantage of that it is very very important do not joke with it we're still celebrating miracle everyone jumping around happy that miracle finally emerged the winner here's a lady who regrets ignoring miracle let me read a post that was how i was always ignoring miracle when he was always in my dm i used my hand and threw away my husband so now i'm now the fan for crying out loud is it because of the money that you like <laughs> gosh <laughs> I don't know what to make of this guys what do you think about this let me know that in the comment section that is where i'm going to hold it thank you guys for your time follow me on facebook twitter and instagram at mexing crown btv thank you once again for watching until we see you next time peace